status report from Persephone to control. Target observed in meeting with two men that the Germans have verified as Saudis. Having dinner with them, we'll report back later. Well. Let's have a drink. Really? You're quite safe with me, I promised. You know I don't want to sleep with you. There are things I wish to discuss with you. I might like you to do some more work for me. Are you tired? No. I'd love another brandy. Good. Risky. Yeah. A great opportunity, though. If he didn't want to sleep with you, what did he really want? Well, at the time, I thought it was what he said. To discuss work. American rubbish. You don't like Americans? I think no better or worse of them than of anybody else. I did enjoy watching the planes flying into the Twin Towers. Duh. It certainly made the pulse beat a little faster. Mm. The people jumping was awful, though. Can't you imagine the excitement of those young men who have taken over the planes? to do something so devastating, so spectacular. It almost sounds as though you support Al-Qaeda. No, I'm not interested in their ideology. They're a business, as well as a terrorist organization. But they could do something here or back in London that would kill everyone. Why be so frightened of death, Sophie? Couple kissing down in the lobby boy who brought us the drinks. Who would really care if they all vanished tomorrow? Well, their families, the people that love them. Compare their trivial lives to those men who rushed to their deaths on that beautiful morning in New York. Is that what you enjoy, then? Death and destroying people? Enjoy? No, not really. But if you don't like death and destruction, I suggest you look away for the next 30 years. Because it's inevitable, and millions will perish. You know, you, you make money from people who deal in death and destruction. I'm, I'm not sure that I entirely approve of you. <sighs> but there is a part of you that agrees with me, I'm sure. And what makes you think that? You're clever. You're a bit lonely. I imagine you've never been able to keep a lover. But you pretend that's through choice. One thing puzzles me, though. That lost child at the station. What about her? Mom! 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 This is a security announcement. We would like to remind all passengers to keep your luggage with you at all times. Any unattended luggage will be removed. Thank you for your cooperation. I saw your face. It wasn't the Sophie Newman who screams at cloakroom attendants. How do you know about that? I've always had a, a soft spot for children. That other bitch happened to lose a particularly beautiful scarf of mine. Shall I have her killed? What? The girl in the cloakroom. Huh? Come on, Sophie. I thought it was your mission in life not to be bored. Let's see if she's working tonight. Let's just sit down. One call to the casino, and one of my men can follow her to her house, kill her and everybody in it. Let's stop it. Come on, Sophie. You don't find this boring, do you? We can listen to her screaming. Osman. Hmm. Good. She's working. So how much pain does she deserve for losing your beautiful scarf? Just stop it. One person. A million people. You or me. It changes nothing in the end. Life is only a dream, and one day we all wake up from it. 
I'd like to believe that when people wake up, they'll see a kinder face than yours. Good night, Sophie. Under no circumstances, just when we're making such a massive breakthrough. The trip was a huge success. He tore my legend to 